Alex asks, hey Lucas, what is best for my little startup company? I'm gonna go through a few of the most important things to consider for any small business startup. First and foremost, you wanna have a very fast and reliable network. So that could be uh, like actually wiring things in, so getting ethernet and network cables. If you're gonna do Wi-Fi, then make sure it's really fast Wi-Fi and, and a, a good router like the Apple Airport Extreme or the Time Capsule. I don't recommend Wi-Fi if you're gonna be doing big uh, data transfers or videos or lots of photos or things like that, then you just wanna go wired. Um, generally speaking for small business, I would say wire it up. Second is backup. This is really important to get this right in the beginning. Um, you wanna have either uh, a time capsule so that all four computers are backing up to one thing. You want it in a way that you don't have to uh, think about where it just happens in the background and you don't need to worry about it. Um, you can also get uh, either a, a Mac server or a NAS. So this is basically like a, it's essentially like a, a big bucket for like the middle of your office that contains all of the data from all of the computers in one place, um, which works really well also for sharing, for file sharing between different people because you can put stuff on the server and then other people can get it um, and those computers can back up to that Mac bucket. Awesome solution is to actually have a NAS in your office and then have a whole a second NAS in your home and set up backup to go uh, overnight to, to back up all of your data there. You also wanna get uh, Mac computers that are current and fast with a solid state hard drive because the, my God, the number one business killer is gonna be that rainbow spinning beach ball. So the faster your Macs can be, the better. Um, you want long-term speed to not have to worry about it. You want email that works 100% of the time and has lots of space so that you don't have to worry about deleting emails. Um, and you want email that will um, sync between your Mac and your iPhone so that if you delete a message from your phone, it will also delete from uh, the Mac and vice versa. So it keeps everything in sync. Huge time saver to be able to just delete stuff and not have to worry about uh, deleting it on multiple devices. For contacts, um, this is also a bit of a sticky one because you can have contacts on your Mac, but then you might also wanna have uh, a CRM, which is basically a central place where contact information is stored, but also information about those people and your relationships with those people, your clients, um, what they like, what they need. Um, so the, the discussion about whether to get sync your contacts syncing or not and getting a, a CRM or not is a really important conversation because you could have um, one list of contacts that doesn't sync with um, your CRM which is a huge waste of time. So it's a good thing to think about and plan beforehand. Similar with calendars, you wanna be able to uh, sync and share calendars with people so that um, you can, the, the four people in the office, you can see each other's calendars and availability and book meetings for each other. Um, I love uh, Google Apps, um, hosted exchange is often great as well. Sharing documents and sharing files with your team um, I love Dropbox, I love Google Drive, those are really good solutions. Um, if you need something a little bit more uh, secure and protected, um, get that Mac bucket and have that in the central place. It's really important at the beginning to have your network on lockdown, your backup on lockdown, email, contacts, calendars on lockdown, and file sharing between your team so that you guys can collaborate and work on stuff. So. Hopefully that helps. I know it may raise more questions than answer questions, but give us, a, give us a call or contact us. We love doing that sort of stuff and put a comment on my YouTube channel and I can make a video for you. You, you can easily see each other's calendars and you can uh, book things for people. You can also cause total chaos for people and, and make them miss meetings, but that's... Uh, that's up to you.